Hello, my name is Score Chaser, and this is going to be awesome. Especially so today, because I am playing a homebrew game called Nyx, the Paradox Relic. This is a game that was made in NES Maker by the Chronicler of Legends, also known as Dustin Huddleston. He has uh, worked on this game for the past few years. And these are the fruits of his labor. This game was released in July of this year. And upon seeing John Riggs cover the game, I just, I had to play it. Because one, the NES is a very important system to me. And two, because this game looked really good. It is a Metroid-esque type game. Where you play as a furry. Uh, which is pretty cool. You play as Nyx. She is a bounty hunter, much like Samus Aran. She does not have, like, power armor or anything, but she's aimed with a blaster that's called the Banshee, which is pretty sick. So, let's get started. Alert, Neo Terrica Planetary Defense Force has issued a bounty. A group of dangerous pirates have escaped custody. They have eluded our forces and escaped the atmosphere. We need you, Nyx. You are the only one capable of catching them now. Two of the pirates you have faced before, Kiro and Shiro of the infamous Cat Sisters, proceed with caution as they should be considered armed and dangerous. Well, they're pirates. Pirates are always dangerous. We will send you info on the others as soon as we can. A large reward is offered for the return. You are authorized to use deadly force if necessary. Good luck, Nyx. That reminds me a lot of Top Gun. Just this opening right here. Now your hunt begins. But be careful, some secrets are best lost in the veil of time. There's my ship. I thought that was pretty cool. Now, you can see on the top of the screen where it says equip, I've got a maneuver called dodge. By pressing up and the jump button, that allows me to do like a backslide, which I found pretty cool. Okay, so we're basically going to go around and we need to hunt down some pirates. I have played this for a little bit. I have not beaten it yet, so that'll be something that we will see together. Uh, this game is very uh, generous on one-ups, from what I've noticed, but I have been told that that was done purposefully. Which I'm okay with. I'm always cool with uh, a game that wants to be forgiving in some areas, especially with games that are programmed to be like old NES games. I just went. There was nowhere I can go from there, I think. One thing that I really dug about the pixel animation here is there actually is kickback to her gun when she's firing it from a profile. Not so much when she's aiming up or down, but I really appreciate the extra frames of animation that went into that. That was pretty cool. I also like the water detail here. Just gush over how cool some of these graphics are. Now, I've come into my first area where I cannot proceed, so there's got to be some kind of slide that i got to get. And going, doing a little shimmy backwards does not do anything for me, so... Alert! Your personal communicator is receiving a message. Nyx, as you search for the pirates, remember this. The facility has been too dangerous to explore for many years. In addition to your bounties, we will be rewarded for every monster defeated. Capture the pirates and make the facility safe for... to explore in the future. Again, I apologize. In other playthroughs, I've mentioned I have dyslexia, so... 
sometimes reading out loud is... I can read to myself fine, but it's like when I read out loud, I... I get all jumbled up. Oh, cool, I can shoot through walls. But not... Huh. That's interesting. Maybe it's because of how thin the wall is right there. One thing I noticed here is when I was trying to do the dodge slide through here, I cracked apart this part of the wall, but I couldn't shoot it apart. Oh, wait, I could. Never mind. I have spoken out of my rear end. Like that little broken robot. I also really dig the music here. I don't know why I did that. <laughs> you also see that I'm accumulating a score that actually represents the uh, the bounty that I've gotten so far. So I've earned like 920 space bucks. So I'm cool with that. Central facility ahead. Okay, so I am currently in the center of the world. Messages on the screen. A note to all employees. Work to expand the Western Biological Facility is scheduled to begin next year. XXXX. That was a hundred years ago. Oh, at least nothing bad's happening. Oh, wait. <laughs> I first I shot this guy, but this little bird dude is a... I like his little shuffle he has. Like, meh, 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 meh. <laughs> I love it. The animation is so charming. Oh, hello. I didn't expect to meet anyone else here. Pirates? I'm just a researcher looking for artifacts. Two armed Nekonian women ran past here earlier headed west. Be careful. They look dangerous. Huh? <laughs> Tough bounty hunter like you should be able to make a jump, little jump like this. Smiley face. I love that uh, a smiley face was added there. Even though it's like, it's a written message. Someone actually put a sideways smiley face. <laughs> okay. Also, I dig the background there. Where the, the trees. And of course, I can't make this jump. Even when I have the ability to jump higher, I can't make that. But it was to lead me to this boss. Slime face. Ugh, so slimy. Besides, I was gonna say, besides producing slime, she does shoot at you. You've been vanquished. Slime face. Let's see if I can find the actual name. I, I don't want to. Uh... Okay, no, she's not mentioned by name in the instruction manual. I didn't want to. Uh... I wanted to give actual good credit to this game, and I'm not trying to make fun of it find a tech bracer. Curious about its purpose, you slip it on your arm and activate it. You suddenly feel lighter, like you could jump into the sky. Okay, so now I have the ability to jump higher, and I can switch between my jump and my slide by pressing the select button. I thought that was cool. Okay, so this was specimen named Mother Slime, so that was her name. Warning, highly dangerous. Life form must be contained at all times. Can multiply indefinitely by multiplying itself as long as it has a food source. There's another... Wait, ooh, did I just trap myself? Yeah, I almost trapped myself right there. There's no way to get through this glass right now, so it's like I need to have this slide. I'm guessing my slide has to go at least that long in order for me to get to that one up. But I cannot get through there. I've seen a couple things that, uh, that have been like that, where it's just, I can't, uh, things I can't reach. Okay. This way back to Central Labs. 
requires key card. Okay, so I need a key card. But I can jump. Oop. That was to prevent people from, like, leaving that boss screen and trying to continue on past it. So we are going to jump upwards. And here's another area where there was stuff. So maybe my blaster gets upgraded? That'd be cool. My one criticism that I have about the, this game so far is that the enemies seem to take a lot of uh, damage before they die. Not a lot, but it's like normally it's like you'd see like one shot enemies or three shot enemies or two shot enemies, but some of these are like. like that slime. Two, three, four, five. Those are five shots. I mean, it's cool, it lets you. get off some rapid fire if you can press the button fast enough. But I just found five to be a, a, just an odd number. Other than the fact that it is an odd number. Okay, I can't go up from there. Bouncy mushroom. I mean, I'm trying to think about Metroid. Did Metroid have uh, enemies like that? It's been ages since I played the old Metroid. Got a, a standing wolf. Well, a sitting wolf. Hi, I'm Abby. What are you doing here? A locked door in the North Labs? This keycard fell from somewhere er above earlier today. I'm sure it's the right one to get into that door. You're sure? I also had to make a mental note not to go down from here because then I'll just... Oh, never mind. I can't tell you how many times I ended up bouncing right back up onto that mushroom. Thus bouncing right back up. Now, as I was saying earlier, this game was made with NES Maker, which is a program that allows you to create... NES ROMs. So this game was actually made through, and uh, the way the program works, there is coding to it, but it's very uh, user-friendly and beginner-friendly. Upon seeing this game and seeing that it was made with that program, I went ahead and purchased it myself. And I've been playing around with it. Okay, and that opened that door. And I've been having a blast doing it. I'm really excited to put something out. I don't know if uh, I'll be able to put anything out of this caliber, because this is very well done, and this took a lot of time to put together. I'm hoping to get some kind of, like, uh, Pac-Man clone. It's out there, something, something, something fun. Oh, I ran into a slime. that maxes me out of my lives. Can I jump up here? Nope. I also kind of wish that you could hold diagonal up or left and jump, but you have to, uh, you know, to jump uh, greater distances, but you have to jump straight up before you can do any kind of distance. I mean, uh, alter your direction. Okay, cool. So it's like the save points in Super Metroid. 
and it's a save spot. Awesome. Your data has been saved. Incredible. Also, if you're planning on getting this game, you found a fragment of a small rune. Okay, cool. If you're wanting to play this game, you're going to need an emulator that is capable of running Mapper 30. A uh, good chunk of emulators are not capable of doing that. I'm gonna go left first. Oh! No, I'm not. <laughs> I tried doing the high jump, and I didn't need to. And instead, my crappy controller made me continue to go left instead of jumping straight up. Oh! Oh well, Nyx, is that you? I thought for sure you would be slime food by now. Too bad you fell into our trap yet again. With all the pirates you've captured, I'm sure that tail of yours will fetch a high price on the black market. Oh, don't sell my tail, it's so fluffy and pretty! Oh! I was trying to only jump high enough. Wow, that's gonna be uh, it's gonna be tricky, tricky. Now I found another heart somewhere before, so I'm gonna go back for that. Oh, I think it was up here that I found it. Warning elevator bell function, so I can't press past here. Ooh, sentries. environment gear, so I can't go there. I, mm, I found a heart piece somewhere in a earlier playthrough of this, just trying to get a grasp of the game. driving me nuts because I know I found something. I found something, and that's driving me nuts now. But 
but yeah, as I was saying, like, the common enemies, that, that would be, like, my only complaint is that, and this is a prison area, that'd be my only complaint is that the common enemies, they, from what I've seen, they all take five hits, exactly, and a little more, like, um, diversity, and that would have been cool. trying to get some lives. That's what I've been doing, so I apologize for just rambling on that. Well, not rambling, I was just going back and forth, not really saying anything. Uh, let's see, where am I at right now as far as time recorded? I've been playing for about 20 minutes, so I think I'm going to stop this episode here, and we'll get back into it, and uh, we'll see what I can do. All right. You guys have an amazing day. You take care of yourselves. Bye.